Hello everyone. Welcome to part 58 of the ECOM series in Laravel 5.6. And in this video, we are going to start working on users, users module, and uh, we are going to see login registers. Uh, okay. So finally, uh, we will work on the users, and uh, and we want uh, the users to first come uh, to our website and register to our website and only then they can uh, means purchase this product from our e-commerce website like if you add any of the product if any user adds any of the product okay and he selects some side and add to the card and after that when he clicks on checkout uh, and then uh, it will uh, means it will be rejected to uh, login register page so far we have not redacting because we have not made such kind of page but now we will make such kind of page login register page and in which uh, user will register if he don't have any account of uh, and if he is having account he already if he already registered then he is going to login okay so this kind of thing we are going to use now and uh, and here in users so far, we have registered only one user that is uh, uh, for admin only. Uh, and you have seen that for admin, we have marked here one. And for normal users, we can mark it as zero. Okay. So for normal users, we can mark uh, this field as zero, admin field as zero. See here as default, it is zero for users. So means we are going to fill this user table uh, whenever we are going to register whenever new user registered uh, in our website that uh, entry will come here with its name email and password and admin will be zero for the user and along with that we will also add the date okay and the means register date that is at catered at we will not use but we will use catered okay same that we are entering in our as well okay so now uh we see the form as well uh that we will uh uh create now the user register login page uh we uh, we can see from our e-shopper template that you have downloaded uh, in the beginning of the e-commerce tutorial and uh, see e shopper template there is the login register page and we are going to make the same kind of page see this one login to your account and new user sign up okay so this kind of uh, page we are going to create when whenever the person clicks on login uh, here then this page will appear and here from here user can able to register and from here user can able to log in okay so uh, let's start uh, in uh, part 58 uh, we uh, will finally start working on uh, users on users okay and uh, we will create register login page login page uh, from where uh, users can able to uh, register login to our e-commerce website from website okay and uh, uh, actually in our website we want every user to register first before placing the order uh, so that's why register login is important part of e-commerce website okay In every e-commerce website uh, uh, users login register is essential so but, uh, but, uh, and we need to uh, do it so that users can place order. Okay, 
guest login is also available in some of the e-commerce websites that we will see later on. But uh, here we are going to do with user login here. Okay, so uh, uh, we will get the user login is just paid from each of the template uh, that is login.html okay so uh, so let's start so first thing uh, we are going to uh, create uh, uh, a route okay uh, create a route uh, we will first create route for a register login page okay uh, so create or we'll create uh, here get post route okay it's in web.php so we can do like this route get match then get that post like this and we will close this and we'll start and we can uh, name it like uh, you can select your own name but here uh, we can name it like login uh, hyphen uh, register like this yeah, okay so uh, also you can mark it like this okay so uh, after that user controller uh, we need to uh, make user controller now okay so uh, in user controller we will uh, make this register function okay now the step we will take okay such kind of route we are going to make and we will first make this route Here we can here this is the front route so we can edit here uh, we can write register login okay and here we can simply copy this route that we have created in notepad see here route match get post and after that login register and user controller at the top register so this user controller we still need to make because there is no user controller we have created so far we have used admin controller but not created any user controller so we will create here user controller as well okay so uh, create now user controller okay uh, we have used admin controller so far for admin user uh, but now we need to create user controller for front user. Okay, so we will create it like this PSP artisan that you already know. Artisan after that controller make sorry, make controller then users controllers okay this so we will run this in our command prop and we can select well select i am using so here you can run this one php partition make controller and it's user controller fine yeah it's user controller so users controller like this okay so after that don't enter and now see controller created successfully okay so now it's created now we will open user controller see now yeah fine this time user controller file uh we have created that we have opened now okay so now we will uh create function okay so now we'll create that register function uh, that we have used in our route okay 
for registering the users. Okay, so now we will create a register function. Okay, register function. This uh, now we will create register function. function. Uh, it's a function in user controller that we have just created. Okay, so controller uh, and will return uh, to register blade file that we will create in our next step. In the next step, okay. First of all, we will create this register function public function. Yes, register right now. We are not going to pass anything in it, and we are going to return it to you. And here, see here now, uh, at front, uh, we are going to add now, uh users folder here like we have done for products okay now we will do for users in admin we have added products and everything else but no for a front end we will add one folder here users okay so i am going to create one folder okay users and in this folder i am going to create uh, the file all the users files will come here okay so uh, Right now, we will create this register blade file here. Okay, so uh, yeah, here I am going to do return view, and in this view, uh, going to pass uh, users folder we have created, and inside this, we are going to create this login register blade file like this. Okay, fine, and now we will create this file create login underscore register dot blade dot php file okay uh, now uh, we will create this uh, file under user folder that also we need to create under use folders okay so we have created this user folder already only this file we need to create and that we can create now login underscore register dot blade dot php like this and then do it like this okay so now we can open this file as well login underscore register dot blade dot php file okay because both the things uh, we are going we have uh, we have added in this page so that's why uh, we marked it as, as login underscore register because both login and register uh, we are going to make in this page okay so uh, now uh, we have created this space now we will add front design to it okay uh, we will add front design to this page and uh, then we'll add uh, login register content from login dot html page uh, from our e shopper template okay uh, e shopper template that you already know we have downloaded in the beginning and uh, from that uh, uh, we are going to copy the content uh, okay so this login.html i am going to keep it here okay fine and we will copy the content here but first i am going to add here the front design okay you can open any of the page 
in all the pages we have added different design so uh, this one you just need to add okay see here like we have added okay uh, search to the formatting everywhere okay so see here this uh, front design we can add uh, to our login on a code distributed file and here we can and section or we can also use add rate of stock okay so this one uh, we have added the front design to it i am going to close card now because that we don't require okay so now i am going to add content from login.html page and uh, we are going to see the content uh, that we require the section part this section part is the main thing header footer we are all, all are already added in admin design so we will just add this section part okay this section part i am going to add here okay see now we have added admin design and now we have added section part as well and now uh, i am i will try to open login user page let's see see the page uh, now uh, comes okay so it's fine login user page and few things you can set uh, here uh, you can uh, set, you can make it little bit formatting and all and also um, you can do some style okay so i don't know much about style but uh, you can do of your own see uh, it, I am going to do like this so that it is very down. I want to make it a little bit up. Okay. See now, now it's fine, and it's, uh, I will keep it like this. Okay. Yeah. Now it seems to be fine. Okay. See now, this page uh, we have added now. Fine. And now we are going to uh, link with our header. Yeah, okay. So. Uh, we have seen in video we able to create login with a static page page okay uh, uh, now what we will do now we are going to update this one in front header first we will see that where it is uh, login link yeah fine so update this front underscore header dot play dot php file uh, now update uh, front header blade file with register uh, login p register login page link that we have just created okay so we are going to link it now i am going to log into the html i am going to add like this url and in url i am going to add login uh, this, uh, this is the page i think yeah, that we have created yeah fine it is so i am going to see now First, I will go to home page. Now I will click on login. Now see, fine. Now after clicking on login, this page comes. Okay, fine. Uh, now, uh, mm, yeah, we will continue uh, with this form. First, we will update this register form. Okay, uh, so that uh, means we will add action and like the fields okay so uh, now uh, we are going to update this uh, file that we have created earlier on so dot blade dot php file okay uh, now we will update uh, login register blade file and add action for this form and uh, update fields as well 
okay first of all we will work on the register form and uh, we will add the action and other things okay so let's see here okay here we need to add action and other uh, means names and ids okay so let's see it also we will add uh, id to our uh, uh, register form okay here we can add it like register form like this okay so after that we are going to do like this register form okay and action action uh, we all already know that we have created uh, the login hyphen register so we will uh, bring in that same function and then we will see what to do so i am going to put that same login hyphen register like this okay so it will come there again uh, we will use in uh, this uh, register function we will use that is method post to get the data from the form okay so that we will do later on and now we are going to uh, set its field as well so we will add id here equal to name and name is name only fine like this we will add id like email okay and name equal to email like this okay so same thing here for password id equal to password and name equal to password like this okay so now it's fine okay so now all the uh, fields we have added name ids we have added and we have added action as well okay so uh, uh now you have seen in video in, in video we have added action uh, for the form okay uh, that is uh, this one this action you need to add uh, and we have also added id id and name for all fields okay uh, now we will also add csrf field okay this one csrf score field okay uh, with form with form okay uh, uh, for security token okay token in laravel so that is essential okay so i'm going to add this thing as well I'm going to add here csrf underscore field like this okay so we have added here like this and now uh, we are going to update the login research function once again okay so now form we are ready with this form we will refresh once and uh, we you can see here we inspect as well that everything is coming fine or not and you can do it like this okay in any of the browser you use in chrome you can do in firefox you can do then you can check here that everything seems to be fine ids are coming names are coming here id name are coming and action is also coming like this okay so now we have added everything now we are going to update our function update login underscore register function okay now we will update login underscore register function uh, uh, so that uh, to to get uh, all uh, all data or requested data we can say all dollar request okay all data from register form and uh, and then 
add uh, into user table okay means we are going to create the user okay like this so now we are going to do update login and register function okay so here you first need to add request dollar request okay like this and inside this here we are going to add the condition dollar request is method post means data is coming in post method so that's why we use to add now data is will come inside this okay every time when uh, uh, when the user fills the form and clicks on submit it and then it will come inside this one okay so request then all like this okay fine and now we are going to echo this one that data is coming fine or not so data then by okay so now we are going to refresh here i am going to do amit gupta and this one i am going to do some other email id like this one amit hundred at the w of dot com one two three four five six okay so sign up click on sign up ah uh, nothing has come uh, we need to see that we are missing something i think we are missing everything here see it's coming here so we are missing the method post i think okay so that issue we are going to resolve p here method post we are missing essential thing so method equal to post you need to add it like this okay so after adding we will go back again i am going to remove everything because we have not mentioned here method post so it uh, default method is get and it is sticking in get okay so but we want uh, to for only for post method here and now we are submitting again now i click on submit oh, now the data has come fine okay so see the data has come fine now okay in our uh, register uh, function okay and now in the next step uh, we are going to save this data as a new user uh, in our user table okay with admin as zero because this is not going to be admin and but before saving uh, the user we need to check that the user already exists or not and that is the most essential project in every e-commerce website okay so we uh, means uh, in no way uh, we need to add uh, means uh, we can add the same user again okay so we will we are going to add double check for it we will add in ajax means every time when the user fills here it will display here that user already exists or uh, if user already exists then he can't submit this form okay this one we will do in ajax and also we will add check in php as well because if in any case ajax stop working then our php check will work and it will return the user back to this login register page with the message that email id already exists okay so uh, in next video uh, we will work on this thing okay and uh, so uh, now we have seen uh, we uh, now now we able to, uh, to get the registered registered user data in the register function but before saving uh, the user details in user table we need to make sure uh, that user does not already exist in user table okay uh, and we will add uh, php as well as jquery ajax check to 
make sure that user does not exist does not already exist okay so in next video we are going to work on this thing with uh, other validations uh, with other validations as well on user register form okay so uh, uh, stay tuned for next video thanks for watching okay uh, yeah so uh, there is very solid reason that i have not saved this user in my table because before saving we need to check it we need to check that it is unique or not okay so we will first check it in a jax jquery and also we will check in it in php uh, to make sure that user does not already exist okay so uh, next video also is really very very important as far as any e-commerce or any other website uh, where uh, user uh, where we are going to store user and with their unique email okay otherwise it will create huge issue in our e-commerce website if we will leave this step okay so i hope that everything is clear to you up till this step and uh, uh, you will enjoy watching other videos as well that uh, i am going to uh, add from time to time okay then uh, have a nice time goodbye